Injection sodium bicarbonate is a lifesaver in metabolic acidosis but only if you know when to use it and how to use it otherwise you will do more harm than good hi i am dr saurabh and in today's video i am going to explain you with actual example the three steps of how to give injection sodium bicarbonate in metabolic acidosis so friends before starting this video i would like to tell you that if you have come for the first time on this channel then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights so friends let's get started so now first we are going to see what are the indications of using this drug in icu so the first and the foremost indication is severe metabolic acidosis when the ph is less than 7.1 or the bicarbonate level is less than 10 then only this drug is indicated in simple type of metabolic acidosis we are not supposed to use this drug then the second indication is hyperkalemia then the third indication is overdose of certain drugs like tricyclic antidepressants and salicylates here it is used in forced alkaline diuresis and the last indication is during cardiopulmonary resuscitation but friends in today's video we are going to keep our focus on this use that is in severe metabolic acidosis now we go to the actual steps so friends here is the abg of a patient and here the ph is 6.98 means the ph is less than 7.1 and here there is an indication of using injection soda bicarb and here we will require one value that is required to be put in our formula and that is of bicarb and here the level is 4 now we will see how the dose is calculated with a formula so the formula here is the dose that is required to be given in milli equivalents is equal to 0.5 multiplied by weight of patient multiplied by in bracket desired bicarb minus actual bicarb so in this formula the weight of the patient can be calculated actual bicarb is the bicarb that we get from the abg but the question is what is the desired bicarb so the normal level of bicarb is 24 but clinically we do not aim for this level and we aim for 18 to 20. we do this to prevent the over correction now we will see actual how this formula is used So now the formula will be like this 0.5 multiplied by let's see the weight of our patient is 60 kilograms so we put here 60 now our desired bicarb is 18 and the actual bicarb was 4 so now we solve this 0.5 into 60 into 14 is equal to 30 into 14 is equal to 420 milli equivalents so this much drug we are supposed to give patient so that the bicarb level will come to 80 and the patient's ph will be corrected now we will see how much actual quantity of drug is required to be given now this drug is available in two types of concentrations so the first is 8.4 percent and the other is 7.5 percent in case of 8.4 percent there is one milli equivalent of drug in each ml and in 7.5 percent there is 0.9 milli equivalent of drug in each ml these are the concentrations that are available in india if you are from the other country then before giving this drug check the concentration and see how much milli equivalent of drug is present in each ml and accordingly then you will have to calculate the quantity now 
वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दैट वी रिक्वायर 420 ट्वेंटी मिली क्वेलेंट ऑफ ड्रग सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग एट पॉइंट फोर परसेंट देन यू विल नीड फोर ट्वेंटी अपॉन वन इज इक्वल टू फोर ट्वेंटी एम एल ऑफ ड्रग एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग दिस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन दैट इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव देन इट विल बी फोर ट्वेंटी अपॉन पॉइंट नाइन देन इट विल बी समवेयर अराउंड फोर सिक्सटी so in this way depending upon the concentration of drug the actual quantity of drug uh, that is to be given to the patient will change so this was our second step that is deciding the quantity now we go to our third step that is actually how to infuse this drug to the patient so now whatever quantity of drug we have to give to patient we have to divide it into two parts in the first part we have to give 50% of drug in 4 hours and the remaining 50% we have to give in 24 hours so we calculated in case of 8.5% we need to give 420 ml so in first 4 hours we will give half of it that is 210 ml and in the 24 hours we will give remaining 50% that is 210 ml now the question is how this drug is actually given this drug is very concentrated and if given by peripheral veins then it can cause thrombophlebitis so we have to dilute this drug so how we dilute this drug we dilute this drug in dextrose 5% generally 50 ml of this drug 50 ml of soda bicarb is diluted in around 100 to 200 ml of dextrose 5% this will decide depending on the fluid status of the patient and if the patient is hyperglycemic then we may have to dilute in 0.45% saline so this is an important thing that we have to keep in mind that is the dilution now i will give certain tips on how to give this drug to patient first is never use normal saline for dilution because in normal saline there is lot of chloride and this chloride can cause hyperchloremic acidosis so we avoid ns during dilution that is normal saline that is 0.9% and if you are giving this drug by central line then no dilution is needed third always prefer a separate iv line for this drug because if this drug is combined with some drugs there can be problem like if you give this drug with drugs containing calcium then there can be precipitation or if you give this drug with certain ionotropes then these drugs will not be effective because most of the ionotropes are acidic in nature and if you combine this with the uh, alkaline drug that is soda bicarbonate then ionotropes will be not effective second never give this drug in bolus except in emergency in emergencies like shock or during cardiac arrest in that case only you should give bolus otherwise you have to give in diluted form and always monitor abg electrolytes and fluid status of the patient now what are the side effects that can be possible while giving this drug in a patient first there can be overshoot metabolic alkalosis and this is the reason why we aim for the lower levels of bicarbonate that is 18 to 20 then there can be hypokalemia there can also be hypernatremia and fluid overload keep in mind that there is there are lot of sodium ions in this uh, drug and it can lead to fluid overload and you have to particularly be cautious in patients of congestive cardiac failure and renal failure and lastly this drug can lead to hypocalcemia and tetany so in summary use sodium bicarbonate only in severe acidosis that is ph less than 7.1 calculate the dose by this formula that is 0.5 into weight into base deficit base deficit is nothing but desired bicarbonate minus actual bicarbonate give 50% of dose initially that is in 4 hours and the remaining dose in 24 hours always give this drug slowly except in emergencies when the patient is very unstable 
and always monitor ABG and potassium very closely while giving this drug. So friends, that's all for today. If you find today's video helpful, give it a like, share with your friends and do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights. And always remember that injection soda bicarb is a temporary buffer and it is not a final fix. What you have to do, you have to solve the root cause of metabolic acidosis. So friends, let's see you in the next video. Till then, thank you.